Hey again, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Open Country. Uh, today we're going to pick up again right where we left off. And it looks like we've got to talk to good old Ranger Ainsley. Hello. I'm back, and I've dealt with your beaver problem. I knew you were the one to handle it. Oh. There you go. You burned this. Correction. We're not doing... We're not talking to Ranger Ainsley. need to talk to any of them <clears throat> all right now let's just go on out here and Let's maybe go out here to the old dam. But I don't know if I want to. Uh, right in west. Slash northwest. Breaker one nine, do you copy? Over. Breaker one nine, do you copy? Over. Copy. What's up? Over. There's someone here at my desk that's looking for a particular item. Says it's a family heirloom, belonged to his great great uncle Jebediah. Huh? Oh, sir, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Okay. And he gave me details where this Uncle Jeremiah might have lived. Putting what he said... Hold on. What's your first name again, sir? Jerry. Okay, great. So, based on what Jerry here said, I'm positive this Uncle Jeremiah lived in the cabins in the northern part of Mark Forest. Cabins? Yeah, there are two cabins in that particular region. Both cabins were his. Understood. Does he need, like, a guide or something? Well, I'm currently detaining him 24 hours for possessing weapons in the park without a permit. So he won't need a guide for anything. <laughs> so how can I help? Before we reached my office, Jerry kept going on and on about this uncle of his and an heirloom. A golden revolver with the letter J marked on it. A golden revolver. Very impractical, but always a treat to look at. Can't lie, it is a treat to look at. Can you look for it in his stead? Okay, but can you give me more details? Well, Jerry here said his great-great-uncle used to keep a journal of some sort. Yeah, he liked to write his thoughts down on paper since the Civil War ended. Oh. Help him cope with the world and himself. Jared believes his uncle might have written something in his journal about the gun. Before leaving as a gold prospector, he left the last few pages of his diary behind. He hid his gun and most likely wrote down in those pages where he hid it. Other than this, I have no more info. Okay, sounds like a good lead. Seems like it's gonna take a while, though. No rush. Radio in when you find the heirloom, okay? Roger that. Over and out. Right, so where are we going? Find clues around one of the old cam cabins in Tumnus Valley. Um, 
Not gonna lie, I'm not remembering if this is Tumnus Valley or not. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Alright, so where are we going? Where in Tumnus Valley are we going? not identifying any specific area so let's just go ahead and fast travel to Thomas Valley <clears throat> and then we'll check the map again and see if it gives us any more information yep there's where we're supposed to go Oh, but we can't fast travel there. Okay. Is there... Is there a fast travel nearby there that we can go to? much no okay so this is going to take a while we're he going to be heading in an east to northeast direction let's see I shouldn't leave this area right now Off we go. So we're going to follow this trail. I'm going to get get my gun out. I have a feeling we're going to meet something, something unpleasant. So we're going to keep going this way. Cross the bridge. At some point, I want to head east. I want to try just working way down, down this way.
get off the trail. Definitely want to make sure that I visit that par uh, parking area because it was not letting me go there. seeing any animals. Do have a barberry bush. Did hit a skunk, okay. I thought so. Oh, I see what that is. you don't. Okay. So now... How do we... How do I use the tent? There we go. Now, I need to also No, we'll cancel that. Um but I need find stuff to make a campfire. So four branches and two logs. But what I also need to do Refill my water bottle. Ah. 
I'm not seeing any branches at all out here. There's a log. And another log. So there's the two logs. Now I need branches. Oh, there we go. There's plenty of branches. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Picking up a couple extra because we need them for cooking the food. And we'll pick up the leaves just for good measure. I should probably pick those up as well. You're near Three Pond Creek. So we're going to go over here now and we're going to make our campfire. No campfire. And we'll place it there. We'll ignite it. Oh, we need to make improvised tinder first. Now we'll light it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and prepare our food. Go ahead and save just to be sh sure. While we're waiting, let's take a look at the map. We're at Three Pond Creek. We're not that far from the Queen River Cabin. And then there's the Cloistered Cabin. So, yeah, once we get our meat, we'll rest till morning. and eat that and this one will go ahead and save rest until morning go ahead and pack the tent up we'll extinguish the fire and now we're going to Keep on going. Keep on keeping on. I hear wolves.
wonder if we can swim. Better run, rabbit. Okay, so if we just keep going this direction. I believe we'll hit the first one that we're going to. You wascally wabbit. sign here. The sign says nothing. Queen River Cabin. Okay. Uh, no. Broke loot, no. Tarp loot, no. Supply box. We'll take the branch. Why not? Nope. I feel like there ain't nothing at this one. Oh, letterbox. Hold on. Read the journal. Hired a bunch of boys today to do some errands around the cabin for me. In spite of my reservations about this, they're doing a mighty fine job so far. The windows are spotless. They broom fast and thorough. Good thing I hired them for the cloistered cabin. Two saw some wood for me, too, just in case my arm takes longer to get better. Doctor said to rest and be grateful I only broke an arm after I fell from my horse. And I agree. At 57 years, it could have been much worse for me. It also, it should also, I should also be grateful I have help around, but can't help thinking ill about these boys. The tall and older boy acts so strongly like a blowhard. He thinks he could have won the Civil War by himself. And the short boy is a snot-nosed squirt who can't really tell his left hand from his right one. I also see how the tall one eyeballs my golden cutlery like he likes it too much. Speaking of golden, I'm really afraid of what would happen if either of, either one of them would, would find my golden revolver. Either the tall boy would steal it for scrap money, or the short boy shoots himself accidentally with it. None of these are an option I'm willing to live with, so I'm going I'm going to go to the cloistered cabin to take the gun and hide it somewhere before the boys get there to saw wood. Okay. And apparently my brain will not function okay, on a Sunday. So there's one part of the journal. I hope I can find other parts at the other cabin. Let's get our gun out because I heard wolves. And I see wolves. Continue on to the next cabin.
Alright, so we want to go this away. Take a drink of our water. This is a long ways. My guess is we're going to have to sleep one more night before we can get back to uh, good old Ranger Ainsley. I'll pick that branch up. For the reasons I just mentioned, that I think we're going to have to spend another night out here. There's the cabin. Harp. The supply box, letter box. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, that, that was what we read already. go. Took the revolver and hit it. I was really in a panic as to where I would hide the revolver. I really don't want anyone to find it, especially that doggone ranger. Poor confederate loser. Will also sell it for money. He barely has anything to put on the table. Took long enough to think for a spot to hide it that wasn't populated with anything man or beast, but couldn't think of a spot. Fortune smiled on me while I was searching for my revolver. I found an old drawing of mine in the letter box that I forgot how much that I was proud of. It's about this awfully strange place with rocks placed in a perfect circle as if there was some unnatural force at work. I remembered it was so strange not seeing any soul there since it's a very calm and relaxing place. I thought to myself, perfect spot for hiding my revolver. Ah yes, I found out they started to call the spot Boulder Hinge. I can't believe they started to name such small things, but I guess Ranger really had a slow work day when he came up with this idea. Anyway, I'll attach the drawing to the journal to the, to remember the location and put it in the letterbox for when I get back from prospecting. Hopefully, rich. Yes, I want to be rich. Can't afford losing this gun. It saved me so many times. There's the picture. And there's the location. Okay, so it's kind of northwest from here and west uh, or sorry north of the other one all right this is great thanks uncle jeremiah thanks oh, uncle jeremiah so if we look at the map here looks like it's right there so we'll add a marker We'll put a point of interest. And away we go. I'm going to grab a couple, couple logs. Oh, shoot. Nope. I guess I'm not grabbing a couple logs. 
We'll drop one of them. Correction, we'll drop them both. Oh, shoot. And looky, looky, what's over there? Is it just one? Berries right here. You know what? Let's go ahead and eat. You discovered green pasture. You discovered wishing tree. That looks like a tree that I would wish at. If I believed in that kind of stuff. I hear you. I hear you, wolf. So let's get on across over here. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I think it is? It looks like it. That looks like a mail. So there may be a mail bag around here. seeing it. Figure out where I'm at.
Okay. So we gotta go in this general direction. And there's Boulder Hinge, I think it was. Whoa! Did you see that? Lightning just struck that tree. And another one. Okay, let's uh let's look at the journal again. I am at the right place, right? No, I am not. Pine boulder hands, look around for the old crate. Okay, where is the old crate? There it is. Breaker 1-9, do you copy? Over. Copy that. How's the church going? I've found the heirloom. My friend found your heirloom. Yeah! Woohoo! Thank you so much! I can't believe it's finally happened. He thanks you. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. That's one very happy detainee you got there, Ranger. At least that's one piece of good news today for him. He'll be detained longer, so I'll meet you at Barry's to get his heirloom. Okay, Ranger. See you there. Over and out. Okay, so we gotta return to Ranger Ainsley. We can go ahead and remove that marker now. And you just keep going to the west. But that's going to take me to the RV spot that I didn't park the RV. We're gonna we're gonna run and see if we how quickly we can get to the RV. That 
that looks interesting. Oh shit! did and we need to rest so we're going to place it there what do we need for the campfire one branch two logs That's no good. Oh, I need that branch and a couple more. are some logs. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But we can go like this and make the build a campfire but we'll cancel oh nope still gonna keep me at being overweight and what animal is that looks like it's a deer I'm way over. Okay, that's why. All right, so. We are going to now build the campfire. Okay, I still need rice tinder, and I think I saw leaves over here. Maybe not. Yeah. 
Where did I see the leaves at? I know I saw some. There they are. So we're going to go ahead and rest. And our campfire went out. So we need to go west to that, and then we'll follow the trail. Wait, th did I pick up the tent? I did. It's just the campfire that's still there. Okay. So hopefully now we can make it back to the old RB. Discovered murky woods. I'd like to shoot some of those animals, but I'm. It'll make it'll make me have too much weight. Morning, guys. Hey, Buckshot. Ah, you're just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on a grand project. You'll see it if you go to Shatterstone Gorge. Uh, is it accessible by car? It's pretty far, so I'd like to drive my RV there. Absolutely. 
You'll see the parking spots when you get there. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Wow, somebody's really excited about this. Go ahead and wait for me there. I'll be right behind you. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Let's go. Hello. Hello? Hey, Ranger Ainsley. Left your prisoner all alone? Oh, prisoner? No, someone very capable at the office is keeping an eye on Jerry. The head ranger. Couldn't run away even if he tried. Uh-huh, or even if someone was after his heirloom. Which, by the way, here it is. Thanks. I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's not really a sought-after historical item. Well, I trust your judgment, Ranger. Well, I'm off. Take good care of the prisoner. Whoa, where are you going? Here. It's from Jerry. <laughs> I'll tell him I said thanks. See you later. I will. See you later. Hello?